For the end of this uh, series of trainings, let's see one simple basic modification cycle. We will start from one docentric replica for purchase order. We will download it, make some minor modification on it and apply it again back through the configuration. So if we start from docentric workspace, we know that this kind of setup we need to do in the docentric report setup. I will find the setup for the purchase order. Here it is. Here below I have several templates. One of them is marked as default and it is generating this kind of a result. So let's take that template, download it and make some minor modification. We will make this logo a little smaller, it's too large. Maybe we will align it on the left side with this block here and maybe we will modify the color of this title so that it is clear when we print the new version. What do we need to do? We need to find the template that is currently used, this one. So I will download it. It's always a good idea to switch on the live preview to see what's happening. So as we said, this logo here, I would like to have it left aligned with this block. So I will go here and say left aligned. Here it is and make it a little smaller so that it's, for example, aligned with this information here. And what else did I say that I will make this title blue so that it goes well with our logo. Now I will save it. Go back to the setup and now here I want to have this new template applied. I will say template file attach. These are the possible storage types where our templates can be located, but let's comment on them. I cannot use AOT to upload this template uh, through this form to AOT. I can only point to something that is already on AOT. These are some other examples. So they need to come from by building some model that contains documents as resources. So that is not possible for us uh, in this form. Then file system, you can use it only if you have on-prem environment, which is very rare situation. In that case, you would point to some network shared folders where you would like your templates to be stored. So if you have cloud environment, these two possibilities are yours. And I recommend that you use Azure storage for the beginning when you are learning, testing, uh, practicing your docentric knowledge because it will work out of the box. There's nothing else you need to configure. It will use the built-in Azure account that comes with your D365 subscription. Later, for the production purposes, you may decide to use SharePoint because then you will have automatically also version control on your templates and also you won't need to download, upload. You will simply open something from SharePoint and save it directly there. But it requires additional setup uh, because uh, you need to provide access for AOT to SharePoint. That's why Azure is the best uh, option for the beginning. Now we need to upload the file before that. Notice this blob container. It's default setting that is configured in the report parameters. And uh, now we want to take this file and to upload it to Azure to this blob container. You can also modify on the fly this setting. So let's say here and uh, training, for example. I will upload, point to this modified file, successfully upload it to Azure. Here we still see it is default. We have it here. It is on Azure now. It's custom, so not provided by Docentric like these templates that are provided as docentric uh, replicas, they get this system setting or customization level. Here we'll see 
the blob container that we have just picked and the whole path where the file will be found. So now when I print, let's see, we should have a little smaller logo and the blue title. Here it is, my logo nicely aligned here, blue title. Next time when I want to make a modification, again, I just take this, make it green, save, and apply back. Template file, attach, upload. And now when printing, I should get the green title. If the file was on SharePoint, I could have just opened it from SharePoint and saved back and it will automatically be used for any next uh, printing. So with this, we finished uh, the second part of the Decentric Basic Functional Training, in particular the Decentric Setup in D365.